America has many forgotten bits of history, but there's one slice that really piques my interest, and that's the advent and antics of the Youth International Party, better known as the Yippies. Wikipedia describes the Youth International Party as a highly theatrical and anti-authoritarian political party established in the United States in 1967. It's pretty widely recognized that the name Yippie was created as a pun on the word hippie, with Youth International Party being a later creation so that the group would have a more formal, serious name in what might be the group's only attempt at credibility. The Yippies were very much a group created by and for the young. Not content to simply speak out against the society of the time, they actively mocked it. They were one of the first political groups of any kind that really understood the power of television and mass media. The Yippies engaged in several high-profile pranks, such as throwing dollar bills onto the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, and fronting a pig as their candidate for President of the United States. Arguably the most well-known Yippie was Abby Hoffman. Hoffman was a founder of the group and helped organize many Yippie protests. He was the author of Steal This Book, a book that advocates theft, obviously, pirate radio, and general rebellion against all establishments, government and corporate. It had techniques for finding free food, gaming the U.S. Department of the Interior out of land and buffaloes, and fighting against law enforcement personnel during riots. In general, though, Yippie actions tried to have more humor than intimidation about them. The group was called the Groucho Marxists for their inventive, intelligent pranks. They had a quality that set them apart from the peaceful but bland hippie movement, a quality that got Abby Hoffman and Jerry Rubin brought before the House Un-American Activities Committee in 1967. Even that group, which had terrified everyone from actors to nuclear physicists with its threats of blacklisting, held no fear for Rubin and Hoffman. They used the media attention to prank the nation a few more times, including a memorable incident where Hoffman was arrested for wearing an American flag to the proceedings. Rubin, who was wearing a matching Viet Cong flag, accused the police of being communists for not also arresting him. The Yippie movement seems like exactly the sort of thing that today's youth could get behind. In fact, the loose internet group Anonymous could practically be the children of the Yippies, figuratively and literally. It surprises me how few people recognize a group that got major media attention during turbulent, well-documented events of just 40 years ago. Do some reading, find out a bit more about the funny political anti-party that America forgot. I've put some links below this post to help you get started, including a link to an online version of Steal This Book. I'm Tim Thrayron. Thanks for watching.